150 pound division. It will be a blue belt no gi contest. In the blue corner, standing 5'5", 145 pounds, representing Precision Jiu-Jitsu, fighting out of Lindale by way of Tyler, Texas, Trey Waddle! Here we have Trey Waddle, 5'5", 145 pounds, representing Precision Jiu-Jitsu, as he prepares for his matchup against Jason Telecchio. Trey Waddell is a focused blue belt, I can tell you that much. And I know he likes the leg lock, so we'll see what he can His do here. His opponent in the red corner, let me introduce to you, Jason Palico! Jason Palico ready for action. This match is officially underway. Palico tries to get in on a single leg. Trey Waddell can on pretty nicely with the head and arm. Back to neutral. Palico again on the single. Guys are starting out aggressive. Fighting for the takedown. Always enjoy a good takedown battle, Scott. 100%. As you say that, Trey pulls guard. together to assist while he passes. Waddell addresses it. I want to thank everyone at home on clearlifemedia.com. Spread the word to your teammates. We got at least 20 matches to go here tonight. Been a great night of action thus far here in Texas City at Booker T World Gym Arena. Chris Lopez's Elevate Submission Series number two. I'm Todd Moore calling the action here with the Jiu Jitsu Specialist Scott Helzel. We've had a night of submission, Scott. That we have. Palico with a quick pass attempt, bumped off by Waddell. Now we're in a modified butterfly guard position. Out of all the matches so far, we only had one draw and two decisions. All the rest were submissions. Incredible. We're about 18 matches in. About 15 of them have all been by submission, ladies and gentlemen. It's incredible. Oh, submission attempt by Palico. Waddell addresses it. Looking like he's going for a modified leg lock attack there for a second there. As I say that, Palico has him in a straight foot lock. Oh, he's laying down on it. Nice composure by Waddell. Good scramble now. They're going for it, Scott. Great head control by Trey. We'll see who gets the dominant position here. Nicely done from these two gentlemen. Wow. My applause attempt went flats there, Scott. <laughs> they didn't join in. Nonetheless, it's been an active back and forth battle between these two blue belts.
Nice little pass there. By uh, Jason, we'll see if he can maintain this top position. And there it is. Worked for it. That is a north-south. Straight to mount by Palico. Beautiful knee slide there. Now I think almost every match we've seen previously, them having a hard time maintaining that mount control, Scott. Let's see if Palico can have more success. Uh, he just needs to generate momentum side to side if Trey wants to escape here. He's able to get an escape, get a butterfly hook in. Nice little sit out. Thought for a second there Waddell was going to bring it back to the feet. Nico having none of it. Oh, for a second there I thought Waddell was setting up a triangle. Lico doing an excellent job. Once again, another scamp scramble, Scott. Oh. Knee bar attempt there for Waddell. Not your conventional knee bar there. He's trying to make work with what he's got. Good job, defense from Palico. Short time left. Who's going to impose whose will on the other? Trey did have that tight heel hook in the beginning, but it looks like Jason has been able to want to control the position. So we'll see how the judges score this. And Palico and Waddell are going to go to a judge's decision. It's going to be interesting, interesting to score, Scott. Let's go to your decision. And our winner, Jason Palico. Congratulations to Jason Palico. Solid win over the double tough Trey Waddell. And I agree with that decision, Scott.